Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at Gilligan's Island, more specifically about Bob Denver, who of course played the iconic character of Gilligan. I will also in this video reveal the winner of the Gilligan's Island DVD giveaway of the season three set. So make sure to watch the entire video to see if you've won. Sometimes when actors act a part, we lose their identity because, well, they're playing a part, but I want to focus on Bob Denver today and another amazing act that he did to many in the crew of Gilligan's Island. Now, I made a video previously focusing on something that he really did toward Marianne and the Professor, whereas Don Wells and Russell Johnson. So make sure to check out that video. I'll put a link in the description below so you can watch it. But today, he did something very amazing for some of the crew, as I mentioned, that worked on Gilligan's Island. Now, Bob Denver talked about this himself, although he seemed very humble about it because he could have given more details. He gave more details about most of the situation, but not exactly about the act itself, which is really interesting. We can kind of extrapolate what he meant by it. And he was referring to a particular scene where there was a sight gag at the lagoon uh, very commonly. And it was actually, this was his favorite. This was his favorite sight gag. And a few weeks into shooting, they actually hired a stuntman for him to do some of the physical work in place of Bob Denver. Now, for the first one, he was supposed to slide down from the top of the lagoon, down a trench, and land into the watery lagoon. Now, the trench itself was lined with brown plastic, and they used water to run down. So it was kind of like a slip and slide. Now, he went down for the long shot, that is a very far away shot where they wouldn't focus into the stuntman's face. So he would be dressed as Gilligan and you would assume it's Gilligan. And then during one of the turns when he was sliding, he shot off into the bushes. Now they banked that turn and he did it again. But then it was Bob Denver's turn, dressed as Gilligan, of course, for the medium shot. That would be a closer up shot so that you can actually tell that it was Bob Denver. And then he started at the top. He was supposed to go 10 feet and then stop. But when Bob Denver actually performed this, he went straight to the bottom and he plunged deep into the lagoon. According to him, it was fun. It was like a luge without a sled. He actually enjoyed to do physical things. But then he went back to the middle of the hill and he did it again. He did it multiple times. And what was really funny, after four times, he realized that he actually did the entire stunt himself from the beginning to the end and he didn't really need the stuntmen. But he thought to himself, well, why don't I just let the stuntmen do it anyway? They could use it for extra footage and therefore the man could be paid. So he thought that he didn't need the stuntmen, he could do the stunts himself. But hey, if this would provide some type of job for another individual that he was all for. The only things that he didn't want to do, of course, were high falls, and he was more than happy to pass those on to the stuntmen. So they changed the end of the slide from the lagoon to a mud pit, and the small hill of dirt was built to simulate the last part of the slide. They dug a six foot hole at the bottom, and he noticed that they were actually filling it with some stuff from a 50 gallon drum. Now he didn't know that this quote unquote mud was already made. If you look closely, there was a little label with the word oatmeal on it. Quarts and quarts of brown food coloring were used to made it look like mud, but this was all oatmeal. And of course, colored brown, it actually helped to look amazing on camera. But interesting note, that real mud was too dense for the stunt that he was doing to actually work. Gilligan, the character, of course, was supposed to go under and disappear into the material. And this only worked with the oatmeal. So of course, you have a bonus here, guys and gals. In this video, hearing about what they use for mud many times on the show, which of course was oatmeal, but also the amazing act, and that was that Bob Denver purposefully wanted stuntmen to be used for his stunts so that they could give him a job and he could pass on a living wage to other individuals. If you enjoyed videos like this, guys and gals, let me know in the comments down below. How does this make you perceive Bob Denver? Does it change your perception of him at all? Let me know in the comments as well. Now I want to reveal the winner of the Gilligan's Island DVD giveaway. The winner is Dennis Miller. Congratulations, Dennis. I will be sending your DVD very, very soon. So make sure to check your mail. 
And thank you so much to all the participants. There will be more giveaways, so don't worry. We'll see you all next time. Don't forget to always stay hopeful no matter what, especially during these times. We can't let anything bring us down. We have to do things day by day, minute by minute sometimes, but at the end, don't worry, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. We'll see you and don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you to my Diamond Tier patrons, Andrew B, Ricky, and David D. And thank you to every single one of my patrons where I have exclusive content. Be sure to look in the description below for merchandise, Patreon exclusive content, as well as playlists where you can find other TV shows and sitcoms that I think you'll enjoy. We'll see you all next time.